photos. Yeah. Poppy has been the head gardener of her patch since she and her dad, Chad, started it when she was just three years old. Show me what you've got in your garden, Poppy. What do you want to show me? The pumpkins. <gasps> oh, my gosh. These ones here? Yeah. Wow, that is a lot of pumpkins on one little plant. What do you like about doing the garden? I like planting the seeds. What are some of your favourite things in here? Which ones are your favourites to grow? Tomatoes. Why? Because they're juicy. And how many different tomatoes have you got in there? Mm, tiger tomatoes, red and yellow. One for Poppy. There you go. Yumbo. Ah. <laughs> Poppy's dad, Chad, is an early childhood educator. He thought gardening would be a great activity for Poppy and something that could grow while she did. Tell me how this garden got started. Oh, well, Poppy was in childcare, so I had dad days with Poppy here and we had to fill our day. So we decided to start a garden project and it kind of grew from there. She really loved the start. It just evolved and got bigger and bigger and bigger. And so she was really little. Yeah, she was tiny. <laughs> She was tiny. I had her out here dragging bales of hay and she's like, she's so determined. And you've got an early childhood education background. Yeah, I do. So she came in doing the gardening right when I was doing my studying. So she was my little guinea pig and I'd try little things out and go, oh, that, that didn't work. And then other things, I'm like, I'm going to run with that. So what did work? Things that really empowered her, things where she could do all the work and come up with the strategies where she could get down, get the job done, and she loved that. When Chad and Poppy started the patch, digging up that hard, rocky soil was pretty hard for a three-year-old. So they went for the no-dig approach. After mapping out the beds with timber, it was Poppy's job to lay down the carpet, add in the organic material and cover it with mulch. So if Poppy's head gardener, does that mean that what Poppy does stays? Yeah, yeah. So if we build something, so like say we build a trellis, and um, it's a little bit wonky, it stays wonky. I don't correct what she does in the garden. As much as anything, you know, of course, there's all that great learning and, and all of those opportunities, but it's really fun and it is making her really proud of what she's done. It must just be really nice to spend this time together. Yeah, yeah, we have some awesome moments. We have a lot of fun out here. I'm sure people walking by and the neighbours have a bit of a cackle at us, you know, dancing and flossing and singing while we, while we garden. you use to help you plant the garden, are they? Yeah. So you use these sticks to work out how deep you should plant the seed. Uh-huh. Well, how deep do you think we should plant these peas? Gee, they're pretty big seed, aren't they? So how do we work it out? Ah, yeah. I see. So you've got twice as big. And then what happens? Do you put a little marker with that? So that shows you how deep you need to put the seed. Yeah. Who's down here? The chickens. Oh, the girls. Do they lay lots of eggs? Yeah. What are their names? Daisy Flowers and Princess Leia. Should we have a look and see if there's any eggs? Come on, you show me. That is a very big egg. Who do you think laid that one? Princess Leia. What are you feeding your chickens to get those big eggs? Uh, chicken food and weeds. And weeds, all the weeds from your garden. And some kitchen scraps, no doubt. Yeah. And actually, this is a bit of the garden that we're having trouble with. Hopefully this was the chook food area. Oh, OK. Can grow something where she can pick and she can feed the chickens. Like the chicken bistro. This shady spot in the backyard is great for the chickens, but it does make it hard for Poppy to grow greens to feed the girls. I've brought her a few plants that my chickens love to eat, and hopefully they're going to grow just as well here. There's comfrey, sorrel and a canna lily. 
We'll pot them up now and they'll be perfect to plant out when the garden is ready. Poppy? Yeah? What's your favourite thing about your garden? That we get to grow corn. Then you get to grow corn? What do you love about the corn? That it's yummy. It is delicious, isn't it? Do you run when you pick it? Do you run into the kitchen to cook it? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with your garden next? Mm, we're going to grow sunflowers. Are you? There are lots of obvious reasons why it's great for kids to be gardening. There's lots of learning to be had, of course, and they grow their own fresh food. And everyone needs to be outside. But for all of those good reasons, I reckon there is one really great one. It's just really good fun. Mm -hmm.